Disclaimer. This video's information is being provided for informational, educational, and general interest purposes only. The information in this video is not intended to shock, enrage, or otherwise provoke the viewer. The sole purpose of this video was to raise awareness of true crime-related events. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Crime Champs has video demonstrating how Cleveland detectives persisted in questioning the murderer until he confessed. Regular citizens' evidence was used by police to support their case. The interrogation reveals a step in a murder investigation that you never see. Video of Ospi Scott being questioned by police was obtained by Crime Champs. He had been detained in connection with a murder that occurred in 2019 close to West 49th and Storer Avenue. When he went to collect a debt, the police believe he shot and killed a man and wounded a woman. Scott was given a chance to confess before Cleveland homicide detectives Michael Legg and Steve Loomis shared the information gleaned from security footage from porches and storefronts. The detectives are first told by Scott, I didn't do anything to anybody. One of the investigators says, I just want to know the truth. The truth is, I didn't shoot anyone, Scott responds. Something happened with that house on the west side, claims Scott. The guy may have overdosed or something, I suppose. I then called around, and someone reported that someone had been shot. We have a lot of video from that street, the homicide detectives insisted as they persisted. And I'm currently giving you my full attention. You knew what was going to happen down there, I'm telling you. You were aware that you would not leave your car parked in front of that home because you were aware of what would take place there. Scott was caught on camera parking across the street from the crime scene by homicide investigators. After that, they discovered footage from camera after camera showing him making his way around the block to the apartment he wanted to recoup a debt from. They even had footage of Scott returning to his car to leave when a dog barks at him from across the street, its owner calling out, Boffy, come here, Boffy. I apologize for that. I missed seeing you pass by. When Scott is finally identified, the detectives tell him, we got you going to the house. Additionally, the dog chased you, that's the truth. You don't have any video of me shooting anyone, Scott insists. I didn't do anything to anyone. The detectives then admit they've got more than just a neighborhood video. They claim to have extracted Scott's DNA from one of the house's door handles. And a witness was present. They claim that the woman who survived the shooting admitted to Ospi Scott's guilt to the police. At last, Scott concedes, saying, it wasn't planned. The response from the detectives is, tell us what happened. For real, man? Scott responds. Afterwards, he said, I didn't have a gun. Carl had the weapon. We're like this, motions hands as if struggling, in the living room. Man, that happened so suddenly. All I know is that when she opened the door, a bang was heard. Then I see her, like, you shot me, and I'm like, expletive, when I see Carl be like this. Man, this is crazy, I think. Later, Scott was overheard discussing the entire case against him on a jailhouse phone call. Everything they said they got on video, I did, you know, he said to a man on the phone. Prosecutors in Cuyahoga County brought everything together to find Scott guilty. A judge sentenced him to 31 years in prison. Scott acknowledged that telling what happened was a weight off his shoulders at the conclusion of the interview. But there was a cost involved. He said, the thing is, man, I'm so relieved this is over with, man. He added, however, my life is over with. Scott appealed his conviction for premeditated murder after the trial, claiming that this was an error and that the charges against him should be dropped. Furthermore, he requests a new sentence, which has been rejected. Next 
And this is on in here, so. I'm sorry? You can turn your WCS on. Oh, it's off. Because this is yep. on. I'm just going to put this like up here like that. You want this chair to prop it up? I don't know who's coming in. I don't want to steal a chair. There's more chairs on there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That comfy? You okay. No. Position your chair different? This time doesn't move. Oh, I can move you. You can't move this one. It's bolted to the ground. Oh, it's actually bolted. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. <coughs> Wait. Are you married? I am. How long have you? A little over a year. Yeah. Do you yeah. have any kids? Nope. I have cats. I'm a crazy cat lady. Are you? Yeah. How many cats do you have? Two cats. Mm -hmm. My other cat passed away mm -hmm. in May. Carl Avery Dawson and I saved poor Chuck. He was four weeks old. Where'd you find him? At these people's house in Tennessee. Like, the poor Chuck literally came up to me and like cried. And yeah. I scooped him up. And at the time, we were at his brother's house. And I convinced his brother to let me have pork chop in yeah. the backyard. Poor Carl always said he never liked dogs. That dog had his heart. That dog's a sweet looking dog. That's why I can't lose that dog. I know. They're doing everything they can for him. Everything. <laughs> that big officer Souter's out there, he's the one who put him in the back of his car and raced the animal hospital for him. He's a huge animal person. Here's <laughs> just his point. What? Yeah, my name was just his point. That's good. That's good. You guys both got shot in the leg. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. I the name Porkchop, that's cute. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where it came from. Did you name him or did mm -hmm. you? Yeah. yeah. Hey, you want something to drink? You want a coffee or something? Man, yeah, please. You sure? Yes. What do you want in it? Cream and sugar. Cream and sugar? Is that the same? No. I can't even think. I was going to ask you if that was the same thing. <laughs> Cream and sugar. No. Do you want something? I'm great, thank you. Did you ask how your dog was? He's checking now. Ryan's checking now. Alright, so Heather, we're just gonna start basically with just getting your, your basic information from you, okay? Okay, actually, can I? Um, I'm gonna put the chair on. Uh, However you want can you put this yeah. over here because I don't want to feel the face when I talk to Yeah, perfect. That doesn't, yeah, because I don't like talking to you sideways. So your first name is Heather? Yes. What's your last name, Heather? It's spelled C-R-O-U-T-H-A-M as in Mary, E-L. How do you pronounce it? Kraut Hamel. Kraut hammer? German, if you split the T and the H. My mom always used to say, say sauerkraut and Dorothy Hamill. Hmm. How old are you, Heather? 36. 36. What's your date of birth? 7, 8, And what's your home address? 3411 West 49th Street. Number 3, upper rear. You have to say that. Four four one zero. What's the um, what's the zip code? Four four one zero two. What's um your phone number?
currently off, but like you can call me. I just can't call you right now. Okay, you can take incoming calls. Yeah. What carrier is that? Boost. Boost? Yeah, I okay. should have it on. If I'm supposed to have it on in the next few days. Okay. Try, try. Listen. It's good you're in this little square ugly room with a couple ugly detectives and a pretty policeman. Oh, <laughs> Does not mean that you're in any trouble. You understand that, right? No, yes, I know. It's okay, so we, we just, I understand. So we're going to take our time. And mm -hmm. Thank you. We all have the same goal, right? We want to get this guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. his full name? Dillard Carl Kennedy. How old is Carl? 44. What's August 18, 1974. Five. Five. Shit, I can't. Oh, <clears throat> so, how long has Dillard been up here? We've both been up here a little over a year. With his job, we've stayed at different hotels within the Cleveland area. And once they learned that the job was going to be extended, his boss helped us get into an apartment because it's easier to pay 600 a month than it is 600 a week. Sure. So you lived in Tennessee also? I did with Carl. In Deer Lodge? Yeah. Okay. Just for about under a year, Carl and I traveled most of the time we lived together. We've been uh, 13 states together. How long have you been together? Well, almost three years. Three years? A lot of travel. Yeah, he's a cable lineman, so we go where the job is. And uh, I was blessed that I was able to go with him. Many wives and girlfriends aren't allowed to. What would Derek let me? Okay. All right, so Heather, why don't you tell me about the events of last evening? Um, I was in the bedroom, Carl was on the couch, the lights were off, we had a movie on, he was gonna finish his dip and then come into the bedroom and lay down with me. He did do that or he was going to That's do That's why I was still on the couch, because okay. he was gonna finish his dip and then come lay down and watch the movie with me. You could see the TV from the bed. Where was the dog? He was in the bed with me. With you? Yeah. But then there was a knock on the door. And I went to the kitchen and I called out, who is it? At that time, Cortez said his street name, No No. And I said, who is it? And he said, No No. So I turned around and told Carl, at that time, Carl went into the kitchen and turned the light on and opened the door. Poor Chuck came onto the front door too because he likes to jump on people. So I went into the kitchen and got poor Chuck and me and poor Chuck went into the bedroom because I was in my night clothes and I shut the door and then I was just me and poor Chuck were on the bed. I could hear Cortez asking Carl for his money. I don't know the specific amount. The past two and a half weeks that Cortez has been calling the phone, I believe he said it was $100. Carl told Cortez that we didn't have any money. And Cortez argued that Carl just came back from Iowa, which was a work trip that he was just on. And Carl told him that he did not get paid yet. Now I don't know. I know that there was more conversation, but I don't really know for sure. I do remember, and I didn't tell you this, that I, it sounded like Cortez was going to hit Carl. And no, but then I said, Cortez, can you please leave? And then... 
Well, hang on a second. Mm -hmm. This was all going on in the kitchen? In the kitchen living room? I don't know. It's Where were you when you I was in the bedroom with the dog with the door shut. With the door shut. You mm -hmm. heard him arguing? Yeah, heard him arguing. Okay. And then it heard teated. So then that's why I didn't open the door or get off the bed. I said, Cortez, can you please leave? At that time, I heard the first gunshot. And then Cortez beat the bedroom door in and he looked at me and pointed the gun at me and shot it. I was like my legs were underneath my butt like I was kneeling on the bed holding pork chop. I didn't know I got I didn't know I got shot or any and that took him like a couple seconds then Carl he had a pink blanket wrapped around him, and he like fell like onto the bed and said, "Call nine one one." So at that time, I ran down the stairs and just. Uh, now, what happened directly after he pulled the trigger with the gun pointed to you? He must have left right away. I don't. I didn't hear him say anything. I didn't. I didn't hear the door open, the door shut, nothing. Okay. All I do know is that when Carl asked me to call 911 and I ran down the stairs and I knocked on the door below us, his name's Chris, that tenant, mm -hmm. he didn't answer. And the only other person I know is the cross the street member. <clears throat> so I ran across the street. Before I ran across the street, I looked both ways. <laughs> So I remember doing that, and I remember not seeing a vehicle leaving. I didn't see any taillights or any car lights because I wanted to make sure I could get across the street safely. So then I ran across the street and used that neighbor's phone and called 911. Okay. And then I came back to the apartment and told Carl that they were coming and that I can hear them and just hang on. At that time, that's when the ambulance came. So. But he must, I know, I can't really say much, but he must have known he was going to do something because he didn't park in our driveway and there was no car leaving okay. our road. What, what kind of car does he have? He has a green, a dark green Explorer. And I don't know where he, if you all were at my house. But right behind her house is an empty lot. Mm -hmm. So that's, if I had to think, that's where I think he took off because I took off mm -hmm. the, the direction to the road and I didn't see a car leaving or nothing. Then so he went down through the cut? I think he did. I can't say for sure. I didn't hear him or anything. So let me ask you this. How long, how long have you known Carl? For, um, like three and a half years. I knew him for about a half year before I got with him. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I apologize. Okay. I meant to ask you about, about Cortez. Um, he was recent. He started working <clears throat> with them when we lived at the Sinesta. lived at the Sinesta Suites. My birth. Around June. So since June? Yeah. He was a Carl six months. and Matt Smith, my friend. Mm -hmm. Matt and Carl were linemen together, and Cortez was their ground hand. Was their what? Ground hand. Ground hand? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, you said they've been working together for about six to eight months. Yeah. Cortez and Carl. Yeah. That's, uh, and um, Derry Rosenbaum yeah, was the one that hired Cortez. He met Cortez at the casinos. They both like to play cards. So I guess that's where he met Cortez and offered him a job. I know that Derek would know Derek Cortez's Ro last name. Derek is Derek's the boss? Derek Rosenbaum is the boss of Carl and the owner of DKR Communications. Who's the owner of DKR? Derek Rosenwald. Okay, I'm sorry. And you knew the number off the top of your head, huh? Yeah, because I always What is it again? Oh, 
was checking on them. It's such dangerous work. Where is that place, the care? <clears throat> Do you know? There it's from Tennessee, I want to say Tennessee or Kentucky. It's so close. I don't know where his mailing address is for oh, take care, okay. but I do know that he has an apartment up here about okay. 10 minutes from our house. So let me ask you this. Does he get, does, um, do those guys get paid under the table? Mm -hmm. it's, okay, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, 1099, you yeah. know, but. So, but Derek would have that information. Yes, sir. Okay. <coughs> I mean, it's a legit, they, it's a yeah. legit business. Yeah. It's not, not the some guy doing side not. work or no, anything. No, they were subcontracted for Mass Tech, and Mass Tech contracted them from Verizon. They are putting up the new 5G for Verizon all through Cleveland. Do you need me to say that again? No. Okay. So what do you th what do you think, Cortez? What do you think he did? He owe money? Yeah, I know he owed him money. For what? I don't know. To be honest, I uh, feel I had to guess it might have been a little bit of cash and a little bit of drugs. Okay. I don't know for certain. I was never there when Cortez gave Carl any monetary or drug value. That little black car in the back parking lot. That, that that's um the lady in the first apartment. Oh okay. Yeah. Do you guys have a car? No, sir. No? Okay. All right. I'm just going to do some digging. When, so you were in the bedroom when he left? Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. When he came in the house, did was the kitchen door closed behind him? You mean the outside door? No, no like the door to your apartment. When he came in, did you guys close the door behind him? Yes. Because we don't want the dog to run it. So he had to grab the handle to get out, right? Yes. Yes, he did. And, and... That's a good thing. Yeah, I know. He kicked the door, but he also opened the bedroom door. And he opened the bedroom door. Yes, sir. Okay. Because, and I know that Carl didn't touch the bedroom door, and I didn't touch the bedroom door because it was open. Okay. All right. So he was... We got some video of him oh, you walking down the street, mm -hmm. but it's black and white. That's why I asked you what. He's black. <laughs> you know, well, that's why I asked you what color his his hoodie was, mm -hmm. and his, you described him perfect. He's got a hoodie and a beanie cap on. Um, then not like it's you know gray and black. Mm -hmm. I think it was like a copper rust color and a tan. Color. That would show up as grayish, um, black and white. And I know. Well, just what you remember. I know it was dark jeans, like a copper rust color, tan flannel jacket, and a dark cap. And I'm, I'm on a stair. Yeah. I don't have any with me though. Oh, you don't have any? Oh. <laughs> Where's your partner? He has. Uh, I think he has rented his car too. God damn it! Just kidding. You can. We'll get you. We'll get you one <laughs> on the way out. You guys are gonna take her. Where are you gonna yeah. go? My friend's house. Come, Matt. His partner. What? Matt's. Matt Smith is Carl's. Does Matt Smith know yeah. Cortez too? Yes. Mm -hmm. What? Yes. His name's Matt Smith. Yes. I just text him to see if he has enough. What's his phone number? Oh man, do you have the number? Sorry, Carl. Carl taught me. Oh, hold on. I think I have that since this one. Yeah, I think you do. And then I have their address too if you need that. Okay. 3282 West 31st. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, Pam is his girlfriend. Pamela is his wife. P A M L A. Snap is his wife. My best friend. And that's the house I'm going to. And she told you the address. Yeah, that was yeah, right, wasn't it? Yep, you were right. I wasn't sure, but we'll take, we'll take you there. I know how to get there. <laughs> yeah.
Well, she would how, call her Auntie how, Pam for pork chops. Where did you, I, I think you told me at the hospital. But where does you think Cortez lives on the east, east side? side? Any idea where? No, sir. I no? thought the, when somebody said Millburg Heights, but I honestly Maple don't. Heights. Maple Heights. I knew it was a Heights place. I knew that he moved from one place to another place. We were actually supposed to help him move. That's okay. how like friendly. How many times did he shoot? I know for certain twice. Once it. Once at Carl and once at me. Once at you. Okay. But I don't know. I might. Did, have I mean, been, did you hear any other shots? I, I don't know. If, I don't know if he shot twice towards me. You know, me and the dog. I, but I know for see for certain. I know for Were sure. Were you holding the dog when you got shot? I was. So I think. So maybe it was all think, one. Yeah, we think. We think. Everybody and I thought it was at, shot. he shot it just out of the mattress right by me. And we only found two shell cases. So. Yeah. Do you, have you ever seen him with a gun before, Cortez? Yes. Yeah? But how, I don't know anything about guns. Oh, uh, well, I know. How, um, how long ago? Uh, four months. Four months? Yeah. Him uh, and his girlfriend, Tanya, came over. Uh, Cortez's girlfriend's name's Tanya? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude, where's your phone at? Hey, you. Can you pull those photos up here? Yes, sir. And your phone isn't connected to the internet right now? No, I mean, through Wi Fi. It's the, my, um, the pictures I'm bringing up is through the Google Photos. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. and you. And you can't connect to the internet right now? Because we have no, no Wi Fi here. Thank you. Two. How do we get these three pictures? I could Bluetooth them to you. I got them on my body camera. Can Can you Bluetooth them to us right now? Yeah, if you if you hook up to my phone, I can Bluetooth them. Try to that. Grab, grab my phone's on my desk here. Or yeah, I can sign into my Google account on a computer, and you can get them through there. I got them on my body camera and on my phone. Turn on your Bluetooth and I'll turn on mine. Mm -hmm. Say anything when he shot at you? Are you Anne Reese? Mm -hmm. Are you pork chop? Yeah. Did I see anything? Did he say anything to you? No, sir, he didn't. Did you say anything to him? No. He just kicked the door in and, and pointed a gun yeah. to you after he shot? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to prosecute him for shooting you? Yes. Him? Yes. Was your door locked? No, my bedroom no. door wasn't even locked. So he didn't even need to kick the door? No, in, sir, he, was... he didn't. Okay. Um, did you allow my pairing? Did you press on it? Not pair with you if I phone. Did you get my question to pair with you? Try it again. I'm not, I'll be able to pair. Oh, hold on. Can't. Oh, you're an iPhone. I'm an Android. That's why we can't pair. Could you just take a picture of it or not? Because I'd rather not. But oh, okay. Um, oh, I get it. Do you have a computer I can sign on my email? Yeah, but let's try to do something else. Or I can sign on to your phone and then you could save the picture onto your phone. You know what I mean? Why have you signed on to a computer? Yes, sir. As soon as you're done in here with Detective Loomis. What did you call him? Loomis. Oh. You hear what you call me? Lumas. Yeah. <laughs> it's me. No, it's that. It's <laughs> Lumas. So it's been a long day. You got that. Yeah. Freudian slip. Mm -hmm. So who's the superior? See, so we've got some pictures. Who do you think the superior is? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I get them. I got them on body camera. Yeah, but that does us no good. It's better to 
nothing, but I want the photos. And there's the date, I guess, from when I took that photo, which was September 9th. Yeah, September 9th at 9, 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. Did he come over a lot? Mm -mm. I want to say about five times. That's your dog right there that he's holding? Yeah. Okay. About five times and... That to our apartment. In yes. three months? Yeah. Carlo, we saw him at work. Mm -hmm. I have a personal hotspot. I already set that up. I got one. I don't think uh, iPhones can't connect to Androids. I don't think. Yes, I mean, no matter what. I don't know. I don't even know how long I'm on this. How old do you think Cortez is? 40 something? Mid 40s? <laughs> I can't be for certain. Um, How tall is he? You think? Like, what I say around he five said, eight, five nine? You said he's taller than my partner, who's five nine. So you said about six. Five nine, five, nine six four eight. So if I give you an Android cell phone, can you sign into your account on that cell phone? Yes, sir. Or you can do it from a computer. Mm -hmm. Pull those clothes back up. Now you make me find them again. Because you went out of it. Do you have cigarettes? No. Do you? No. Do you? Time is on card. Does your partner as well? They're all in his own car. What's that? They're in his own car. Which car did we take you? It's all, it's all, all the way downstairs. We're just trying to get him closer. Yeah. Oh. So did you all start off like her and then you got up to where you're at? Yeah. So you, you know. all got maced and tased? Oh, yeah. yeah. Which was the worst? Tased. No, oh, you thought mace. so? Mace for sure. Pepper spray was worse. Tased wasn't bad at all. Mm. Jesus, over in five seconds. Thankfully, I've never been either and don't intend yeah, to. Don't, don't <laughs> I think I've been arrested once for DUI, like when I was 20, and they got adjudicated with help. <laughs> do you work? No. What are you going to do now? I don't know. Who paid the rent? Carl. Carl's boss did. Every, everything was on Carl. Do you ever see Cortez doing drugs? Smoking crack. Did he seem high tonight? No, I can't be for certain. No? Mm, I don't know. I don't want to, you know, guess, because I really don't know. You see him do what? Smoke crack. Smoke crack? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, he asked if I had a cam to smoke out of it or... Tonight? tonight? Not tonight, you know. It's one of the times he visited. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He had to be on something because he always showed up at 11, 12, 1, 2. That's not normal hours. He's got a green oh, Explorer, huh? Mm -hmm. Old raggedy one or what? Yeah. Have you ever met Latanya? Tanya in yes. person? Yes. Grab my phone, will you? Yeah. You got Tanya's photo? photo, photo? Anything you can. I don't know what else. Okay. Well, we'll be able to track him down. I know that he kept whatever drugs he had on in his gas cap. Cap? Gas cap? Mm hmm. Was he selling dope? I don't. Can't. I don't know. We're not, and we're not the dope police. No, I know. I don't know. I know that that whenever he got... I know Carl always said, I know if I want to take anything from him, I just got to look under his gas cap because that's where he put it. Carl went to his house and helped him fix his brakes and oh, it's going to help him move. You ever been to his house? No. But I do remember they said it was like east side or like it was 20 minutes away, wherever that was. Okay. 
So he thought Carl got paid, that's why he came over tonight? Mm hmm To get his 100 bucks. Did you hear him say 100 bucks? You just, mm hmm Yeah, okay. All right. And you heard a shot when you were in the bedroom? Mm hmm and then don't, if I'm wrong, let me know, okay? Because I'm just kind of recapping mm -hmm. my own mind. You heard a shot in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. And then, did you say anything? Did you scream or anything like that? I don't remember if I did or not. Okay. And you, you were you were all curled up dog. with holding the dog. Mm -hmm. And he kicked the door in. Mm -hmm. And came in and pointed a he gun. He kicked the door, but it didn't open. He oh, kicked the bottle door and then he opened it. Okay. The kick didn't open the door. Got it. Mm -hmm. And then he pointed a gun at you. Mm -hmm. Didn't say nothing. Didn't say anything. Did you say anything to him? I th I don't think I did. No. Mm -mm. And then he shot. Mm hmm And then you the knew the dog. You knew the dog got shot. I didn't know. Oh, I didn't know, know I got shot. I didn't know the dog okay. got shot. Mm -mm. Until I came back in the house and there's blood so all got, over the place. You got shot and... Then another second or two, Carl came falling into the room and told me to call 911. Okay. And he had the blanket around him, so I thought he got shot in the arm. That's what I told 911. Mm -hmm. But then when I came back up, it was in his chest. Okay. And then you went running down to the um, neighbors. Mm -hmm. okay. We see on the videotape, mm -hmm. do all that. Mm -hmm. And you're right, he didn't come out on the 49th Street. He had to go the other way. Mm -hmm. So we'll go look at some videos down there, down on the street tomorrow. Yeah, there's the auto body place the on the corner. The store on the corner. The convenient on the yeah, right across from that, there's an auto body shop, and they gotta have cameras or something. And he, you, you, the only way he gets to that neighborhood is in a car. Yes, sir. And I can tell you, he came walking down from Store Avenue to your house. Yeah. He didn't pull up in a car. He came walking down the sidewalk. Yeah, he knew he so was he gonna parked, do something. He parked somewhere. He knew. Yeah, you're probably right. He knew, because he normally pulls into the driveway. You know, the lady with the white car, she doesn't pull all the way in, but he, people can pull up behind her. Mm -hmm. And he normally parks right there, or right across the street, right in front of that orange-colored house. That's where he only ever parks. Okay. Okay. Well, give us a couple minutes. We're going to go... Look around on the computer and see if we can find him while you're here. Mm -hmm. I know if you got a hold of Derek, he would know Cortez. When he was, he calls you on on uh, his girlfriend's phone. Is that what you said? Yeah, tonight he did. Yes. What What's his What's his number? What's the the one that said new? The new one. You gave me. Which is weird because I used to have Tanya's phone blocked. Because Tanya would call me in the middle of the night accusing me of fucking Cortez, which never happened. She's a drunk. Pretty sure those were all like old burner phones. Yeah. yeah. 9846? Correct. The only one that I. Uh, Tanya was the one with the Android all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can find stuff out from those old numbers too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to give I'm you to everything. See if anything else I have here. Matt Smith has driven to Cortez's house. He, he might know his address. He picked up Cortez for work a bunch of times. Would you, did you tell Matt that you didn't need a ride? No, I never. Was he at the hospital? I think. Well, was he at the hospital? 
I didn't see him. My partner did. I'm pretty sure Pam told me. Do you have, you, have your sex guy? White guy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I mean, he's not yeah. huge, but he's stocky? Yes, yes. Yeah. They, um, and I talked to his wife, and I think they said that he, they wouldn't let him see me. Because yeah. they wanted me to talk to you. Yeah, guys. that's right. And that's that's normal. But hang on one second. How did you talk to his wife? On um, Facebook video chat. On that? Yeah. On your phone? I threw the wireless in the hospital. Let's see if we can call him real quick. Let me get my phone. Okay. Okay. I'm trying. speakerphone okay thank you Hi, Matt. Yeah. This is Detective Lewis from Clean Police Homicide Unit. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing all right. How are you, sir? Good, good. Um, okay, it's okay if we if we bring this young lady to your house. Yes, sir. Definitely. Okay. Hi, Matt. She's she's sitting right here with me. Okay. Hi, Matt. Yes, ma'am. Hi, uh, Matt. Do you remember where Cortez lived? Uh, West 90th Street, I think. Or East 90th? East 90th? Yeah, yeah. East 100th. East 109th? I don't remember. Matt, do you remember? Buckeye. Oh, 109 in Buckeye? Matt, do you remember Cortez's last name? No, I never noticed his last name. Okay. That's fine. Um, do you know anything else about this guy? Where we might be able to find him? No, I definitely don't. Okay. Uh, I know his brother lived there. His brother? Where, where I was talking about. Didn't Derek meet him at the casino? Yeah, Derek went to the casino, yeah. Okay. There's no there's face recognition at most casinos. Uh, we'll, we'll be able to find them. I know, you're better. Or else I'm coming after you, Mr. Okay. Luma. Okay, <laughs> um, um, we'll be done here probably within the next 15 or 20 minutes. Is that okay? Yes, but and you're going to bring her here? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have somebody bring her there. Okay, and the dog, uh, um, just so you know, the dog is at the West Park Animal Shelter. I'll give her the card. But that's, we took the dog there um, to address his, her, his. Him. Poor chop got shot too. Yeah, he got a little, he got a little cut on him too, so. Um, just so you're aware. Okay. okay. And you told okay, Matt, you told Derek? Yes, I told Derek. 
Oh, can I call him when I get to your house? Yes. Thank you, Matt. Derek is Derek's the owner of the company. Yes, sir. That, that you guys work for. How yes, how, how how was he? Was he receptive or in disbelief or what? Okay. So he'll have he'll have Cortez's yeah, contact information, right? He didn't answer the phone. We need yes. to talk to Derek. Okay. Yeah, think the one that think the one that told me is the best to pick him up and work with Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Matt, you can you Derek? please All right. text he knows this guy, Derek and tell him to answer the phone? We need to speak with him. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you later. 606. What is it? 606 246 1890. They had Tony's picture. Yep. Bottom of the question. Mm -hmm. What's the name? Derek. Rosenbaum. Hi, Mr. Rosenbaum. Hi, this is Detective Loomis from the Cleveland Police Department Homicide um, Unit. Um, I was hoping I could get some information on Cortez um, from you. Um, I understand that he's an employee of yours or was an employee of yours. Okay. Um, do you have his, the address up on Buckeye that you sent Matt to? To pick him up and then possibly a birth date and a last name. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Do you know uh, his last name, sir? You don't know his last name? Okay. You know uh, birth date? In his 50s? Okay. Um, how did, does he get paid under the table or 1099 or what? 1099. Is is there any way I could get information on that? That that probably has a social security number, right? Oh, okay. Um, is there any way that I could call you later um, this morning at a proper hour and uh, get that from you? Uh, oh, there's nobody here that can get it for you. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I, and I, I do apologize for calling at the late hour if it wasn't uh, something that was, you know, tremendously important. I wouldn't do that. So, um, do you, do you have a phone number for him by chance, Cortez? Just for, and this is just for my notes. Can I get your birthday, please? Yes, sir. Very good. And this is my cell phone number. Um, so if if you see it, and it's a Cleveland number. Just we're trying to remember it's me. Can you I'm tell just looking for some information. She's. A, 
What's that? Can you tell them that I'm okay? Yeah, and she got shot in the leg, but she's doing good. And the dog got shot too, and the dog's doing good. So hers, hers was a flesh wound, but um, we we kind of need to talk to this guy pretty quick. I'm not sure what's going through his mind right now. Yep. Yep. The apartment on 49th Street. Yeah, so he owed him some money and uh, was looking for his money and, and he didn't have it. So I guess that's reason enough to shoot somebody, I guess. I don't know. I don't get it. And then after he shot him, he went in and shot her. So I'm not sure what, what he was thinking, but we definitely need to talk to him. So, yeah. Ask him the car. Okay. He's just a laborer. <laughs> Got it. Got it. All right. Again, I apologize for uh, waking you up. And I appreciate you taking my call. I will talk to you again. Thank you, sir. Derek loves us like family. He huh? knows Derek loves us like family, me and Carl. Yeah? Yeah. What was, what was the picture that Aaron showed you? Tanya. Tanya? Mm-hmm. Can you put this on Yeah, absolutely. Taking more time than I've ever been by himself, either. We'll be okay. They took a good, good care of him. I'm sure he misses you. Thankfully he's okay. We'll get him back. Do you know how to speak Spanish? Nope. Mm -hmm. I used to live in Arizona for two and a half years and we had to take it in middle school. It took six years if it didn't stick with us. I, I can't. I can't. Like, kind of. You know? I'll say, can I use the restroom? That's mm. all I remember because that's all I would ask in class. <laughs> we had to, in Arizona, in middle school, we had to do like plays in Spanish. Oh my gosh. Well, it was Arizona, you know? Yeah. And then I took it in college. Like I have a bachelor's, I have an applied science, I have a general AA, I'm certified x-ray tech, I'm Jeez. certified chiropractic assistant, certified phlebotomist. Oh my gosh. I love school. Are you still um, Not, up to date on all those? Mm -mm. Maybe we can take your state exam. Yeah, but now it would be just easier to go through the whole, it's been years. Yeah. And I don't even know if I want to do that. I still want to go back to school. I yeah. love learning. I, I love it. I love school. school. <laughs> it was fun for me. And Carl wanted me to go back. He said, do you try? He was proud of me. He was proud of all the stuff that I come with. Sounds like you've done a lot. More than I've done. Dropped out of college. Did you? With a semester left. Oh, yeah. I hated school. <laughs> hated it. You don't have to have like a, a, a college education. Just, just high kind of school. Mm -hmm. And then we had to do the eight month academy mm -hmm. and get our um, state. What? Is that what you always no. wanted to do? Um, well, I was in the army. Mm -hmm. So I kind of always liked like the action, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then I was an optician for 10 years. So I worked with eyes. Mm -hmm. And I got sick of oh, the same. Oh, I'm 30. I'm going to be 31. Wow. Yep. So then I decided I wanted to do this. It's the best decision I ever made. Mm -hmm. What does your husband? He works at Subaru. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's scared shitless every day you go to work. Uh, I think he's used to it. Yeah. At least he has Some kind of acceptance. Yeah. Did you talk to him before, were you married before you did the police academy or did you get married afterwards? I got married before. So, so it's kind of like already. A surprise, yeah. Um, 
I mean, he knows I'm part of it, so there's no shame in religion. Mm -hmm. Is this thick or is it thin? You can touch it. <laughs> well, it's not that bad. I don't know, so I don't know what that was. Oh. Oh. So Heather, yes, sir. what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a photo, okay? Yes. Because you know him, mm -hmm. I'm just going to show you one photo. I need you to tell me if this is the guy you know as Cortez. Yep, that's Cortez. That's him? 100%. Is that even his real name? Yeah, that's part of his name. Okay. I figured it wasn't his full name, but I'm not even going to ask. And you're 100% sure? 100% hand on Bible. That's him. This is, this is the guy that walked into That's your bedroom? That's the man that shot my boyfriend, me, and my dog. <laughs> Do me a favor. Just, you want me to sign him? Yeah, put your, either put your initials or sign that mm -hmm. and put today's date, which is 1224. <laughs> Are we done? Do you need her anymore, Michael Lake? May I have your card? Yes. If I had a card... Well, you're not special enough, Mr. Moon. They're all the boss of me mm -hmm. in this place. I'll put my cell phone number on the back of his card, though. Okay, thank you. Right. That phone is on all the time, so... I don't know what anything? I'm... Hey, listen, you hear anything, or that guy tries to get in touch with you, or Facebook, or social media, or anything, you call right away. Sir. You call me right away, okay? I wonder if she'll do it or she can have to go back to her. I was just about to ask that. She can go back now. I want to go back and get some clones. Do you want us to take you home first? Do you mind? No, of course not. You maybe yeah. just got yeah, me absolutely. out of my pants? Yep. Yeah. Thank you. There's a little bit of blood on the floor. Yeah, there's a lot that's of blood. That's the dog. It is the dog. It was the dog. He didn't. He didn't bleed. Yeah, that was all inside. It's internal. It's not. It's not rare. <laughs> he said, "I'm dying." I said, "No, you're not." And the last thing he said was, "I love you." It's a good thing, right? I loved him. He was my life. I understand. And he hated dogs, and he loved poor stuff. Yeah. I had a 50... Mm, so you want to see... I don't know if it'll come up. This, look. This was Pork Chop's one year birthday. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> and there you saw the banner on the wall, Welcome uh, Home Dad. Cause I gave Carl you the card. Came. I gave you the card. Right? Your information on the bed. Yeah. I gave I you the card for the. Yeah. I put it in your bag, okay? Mm -hmm. See, Kyle loved that dog. He made me take pictures of him all the time. And uh, how do I clean my apartment? Um, does she need to leave it? Are they done with the crime scene? And yep. SIU's done? Um, yep. Best way to clean? Um, do you carpet cleaner? Yeah, I mean, bleach on the floor and the, you know, just some water with a little bit of bleach in it on the Is, should I kitchen clean it floor. Snaps yeah, sooner, better than later? It's it's really up to you, sweetheart. Mm, you know, I maybe you have some friends that can go over and do that for you, okay. just you so you don't have to. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to give, with your permission, your information to. We have a a, a uh, counselor that works here that deals with people that have traumatic losses in mm -hmm. their lives. Her name is Grace Leon. Because I and, think it's just kind of... And she is... No, it, 
Come is it okay if I give her your, That'd be your number? Thing. Yeah. And I'll have her get in touch with you? Mm-hmm. Are you, do you know his family pretty mm-hmm. well? Mm-hmm. Okay. How are they going to reach his mom? They already did because his brother texted me tell me who did this to my brother. Okay. Yeah. They, the hospital the hospital made a notification to his parents, or at least his mother. Yeah. So, but I... So they'll probably be coming up here, no? I don't know. She never leaves the house. Never. No? Mm -mm. Okay. Well, here's my card with my cell phone number on the back of it and my partner's on the phone. Because can they sign something to me that I can sign off for? I don't even know how it works. We'll figure it out, right? We're called to go home. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm not exactly sure how that works. But Grace will be able to help you with that. Okay. 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 So uh, we will give her your name and contact information. They, you can call in on that phone. You just can't call out. Right. right. Okay. Hopefully that'll be fixed within the next few days. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Can you help walk in here? This. Just your hand. Hey, where are you going now? Where am I her going? Girlfriend. No, where are you going? Her girlfriend's house. She's You're not going over there, right? She's going to take me to get a couple of things, and then I'm going to stay with Pam and Matt. Listen, if you see Cortez, call the police. I know these guys She's going to be with me at my house. Yeah, I'm talking about after time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Oh, because... Yes, sir. He's, we're looking for him right now. Okay. And you'll notify me if any... Mm-hmm. How can we call you? You can call me. I can't call out. Oh, okay. But I will be staying with Matt and Pam. When, when you, you get your phone, number. when you get your phone fixed, you can call me. Okay. My number is on the back of the. Never sign a hippo while she's here. Say again. Never sign a hippo. Oh yeah. Save a search for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hang on. Stay right there. I'll be right there. We're moving. You need to catch up to us. Gotta stay in the room because it's recording. Gosh darn it. It's okay. Well, what time is it? Four o'clock in the morning. Not be able to sleep drinking that coffee. Oh, I'm not going to be able to sleep. You need to sleep. policy city looking for them. Do you promise? Girl, trust me. If something like this happens, they put out a whole district broadcast. Everybody's radio in the car and everybody's personal radios. It goes off. Everybody starts looking. Okay. So what this does is it allows us to get your medical records from Metro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this isn't. Uh
spell your name for me again. Heather C R. Are you, are you ready? C R O U T H A M E L. And how do you say it? Kraut. Hamel. Hamel. Sour Kraut and Dorothy Hamel. I always say to split the T and the H. Next day, day, 23rd? It yes. was the 23rd when it happened. Okay. Today's the 24th. Yeah, we got to call at 1137. Need to fill the rest of this out. Well, then give it to me. I will. <laughs> <laughs> um, 24 and 19. Yeah, I've almost got the same. It's a sign. Oh, and then, right. I was working, I worked at the uh, hotel for over 10 years. I have a hospitality restaurant management degree. So I had to watch them drop money each night. So how their crowd handle turned into that. <laughs> because it was so hard to sign my whole name twenty times for drops. Yeah, mine's pretty much just an M with a line. Yeah. My mom's and my dad's look clotly. <laughs> my sister turned into a crap handle to um a wick. Wit. Mm hmm. See, mine was Mason, it was easy, and then it went to Madeira's. Always made it the butt. Always yeah. joked and said that I was just going to hyphenate my last name, make it even harder. Yeah. Crowd Hamel Cannon. Mm hmm. Uh, it's the neat handwriting. He has very nice handwriting. He's so nice. It's not neat. Yours is very neat. But in my defense, this is when we were driving, going yeah, super fast are, to get to your house. So you're doing cool. There you go. Your turn. Oh, yeah. See your scribble. Oh, Let's see. Ours isn't as bad as she said it was. So I'm making it neat. That's me being neat. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, are we done now? Oh, oh we are man. done. Oh, just there. Let me just make sure. Golly. You don't need your break thing up, do you? Aaron? I need my gum back. Right? Yeah. <laughs> kind of important. <laughs> you take you take that home too, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. It goes with me everywhere. It's like a baby. Yeah. Does every poor police officer have the same kind of gum? Yes. Yep, and then there's not like two you could choose from depending on if you like one or another. Um, no, we all have Glocks, but then if you're certified for a rifle, you can have a rifle. So but are you, you have, certified? You have to have so many years on before you can get certified. Oh, so your partner, that was his rifle? No, that? that's that's a shotgun. So no, I don't know. Do you need my chapstick? Do you know where my um, keys are? That is in the very bottom. I'm really scared. How of donuts? <laughs> you should be a cop. <laughs> Listen, I always keep my chapstick. I do too. Hands in my pocket. Ready? Super fruit. <laughs> Pam got me this one. It looks like a little raccoon. That is like so cute. It's got a tail.
surrounding agencies, so not even just Cleveland, like the surrounding cities are going to know just in case he leaves Cleveland. Are you up in my apartment? No, I I rode with your boyfriend in the ambulance. Was he lying? Um, he was talking when we got into the ambulance, and then um, what did he say? He said I can't breathe, and then he had a pulse, and then they lost the pulse and they did CPR and they brought him back, and then I think in the hospital, I I wasn't there the whole time in the hospital because I came alone with you, so I, that's why I didn't know. Mm -hmm. But in the ambulance, he was still there. I'm a grown man. I know. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, they're doing everything they can to find him because I just got a text asking if I could work a double shift. Oh, you're going to die. That's fine. Will you call me? You want me to call? I, I have your number, yeah. Okay. Thank you. You've been so nice. That's what I'm here for. That's what makes this job worth it. You see a lot of really crappy things, but it makes it worth it to be able to help you. Yeah, it's not all bad. It's not all bad. It's all mean and bad. That's true. There's a couple bad apples, but there's a lot more good people. And out. you do get anxiety when you see the flash and lights behind you. Oh, I still get scared with a cop. <laughs> I still like, oh crap, there's a cop. And I, <laughs> even when you know you're not doing I anything I still get scared. Wrong. We'll be driving around his own car. I'm like, oh god, there's a cop. <laughs> and, and you're in your car. Yep. Oh, yeah. I still get scared. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, that's not right. A lot of you guys are in very intimidating. That I'm means, like, think, like, I really tried Wait, not to be. Can I do something? You know what's funny is I was knocking on a door last night mm -hmm. and they're like, Who is that? My like, police and they didn't believe me because I don't sound like Right. She, you gotta she practice would, your police. She call. laughed at me. <laughs> she wouldn't open the door. And I had to knock three more times for me to open the door. You gotta practice your authoritative voice. Apparently I don't know. Go ahead, try it. No. <laughs> <laughs> we can practice on right. our way. Yeah. Can, for real though, can I name I've only had to scream like five times. Well, go practice it on those men.
moving. Am I moving or are you moving? If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and press the notification bell. Additionally, you can view our playlists and most recent videos. Thank you for watching.